So German bread is amazing, but unfortunately, it's not as well known in America. Today, we're setting the record straight for Americans on German bread culture and how fantastic German bread is. We're gonna be trying some different German breads with you and talking about our bread experiences in Germany. Hey everybody, welcome back to our channel. I'm Sarah. Hey, I'm Kevin. And we are a family of six with four kids. And a cat. <laughs> who moved to Germany from the United States in February of 2021, just to experience more travel and adventure and languages and culture and give the opportunity to our kids as well. And that exposure to culture includes bread. Bread, <laughs> yes. Definitely. We had a video, a couple of videos back, 10 ways our lives are different here in Germany than they were in America. And in one of them, we talk about how many Americans, like we just very, I very casually said, Americans don't know Germany for their bread. When right. we think of good bread, we think of France and Italy. Yeah, baguettes and, and croissant and ciabatta, ciabatta and focaccia. Americans know that, but yeah. they know pretzels from Germany. They know pretzel in yeah. But uh, other than that, you know, German bread is not yeah. widely known, Sorry. at least in our circles in, in America. And we didn't realize that many Germans may not know that, and we were not prepared for the comments that yeah. ensued afterwards. I mean, it was comment after comment <laughs> after comment, like, what? Americans don't know how good our bread yeah. is? And I was like, no, I'm sorry, they don't. Yeah. So since we're American, we're hoping we can be a voice to help spread the word to other Americans that, hey, German bread is fantastic. And now that travel is opening back up after the coronavirus and everything, and if you are planning a travel to Germany, definitely check out try their the bakeries yep. and, and try breads. And you don't have to speak German in order to do it. You don't have Give to- Give me one of those. <laughs> yeah, you just point. We don't do that anymore though. We, we <laughs> use German. But I'm saying if you're a tourist, you don't obviously need to learn much German. So you can you can point to the breads. Anyway, try bread when you come to and, Germany. And you know, when, when I lived in Europe before, you know, anytime I would travel to Germany, I was, I was impressed by just going in the train stations, you know, and the, even in the big city, you know, there's always in the train station, there's a mm. little place that sells snacks and bread. And there's like, mm. oh my gosh, look at all the different kinds of bread. I was always amazed at it. I never really tried so much of the bread, um, but I noticed that when I traveled here, you see the bread around, you know, just going in public spaces. So it's out there, um, but I don't, I think it's sort of, uh, I think the way I said it was a, uh, and under underrated or something like that, mm -hmm. you know, but, and I meant that in the way that it should be known more because it's so fantastic. Yeah. yeah. And even in the comments, we got uh, comments from other Europeans, people from Poland, Romania, Slovenia, Slovakia, Hungary, all saying, hey, our bread is great here too. <laughs> right. <laughs> I mean, each country might get offended by this, but you know, in general, uh, in continental Europe, there's a lot of countries that have good, good bread. bread yeah. So definitely try the bread as you travel around in Europe. We're gonna go ahead and open up some of the breads. And as we open them up and eat them, we wanna share with you some facts that we've learned recently about German bread and what makes it so fantastic. And Sarah bought all this this morning and I've been waiting all day to we've be able to eat the bread. Because this morning I got up and our bread our bread, um, bread basket was, was our bread empty. Box. Our bread box was yeah. empty. And, and so then she comes home with all the bread and she's like, no, you gotta wait till this, this afternoon when we film to be able to eat the bread. I'm hungry and I've been waiting all day to eat this. <laughs> <laughs> We'd wait until our kids would have their uh, TV time in order to, to have any quiet in the house. So, <laughs> right. <laughs> All you parents understand. Yeah, Can so I open it now? Yeah. What's in that bag? All right. And this, these are from um, a bakery called Kreidel, which is here and also in Rupolding, which is a town nearby, and Schubeck, which so is two different, also there's two a, different bakeries we have in town. And they're both local chains. Hmm. Yeah. So what did you say this one was called? This is Dinkel. I looked it up and it's spelt flour. So this is good for, it's, it's getting a little dry here, even though we just got it this morning. But well, anyway, that. this one is full of seeds. Of course, we've got our butter here. I'm gonna just cut off the hard part there. Sure. Um, yeah, Ke look at Kevin. He's like, <laughs> where's your fork? And like, you need a napkin yeah. on you and go, <laughs> food, food, food. Essen, Essen, Essen. Me eat now. Yeah, so we often have it just with butter on it. Um, we also get um, the marmalade, uh, 
you know, our favorite is the Mirabelle, Mirabelle jam or marmalade. That one, yeah. uh, we like that. Which comes from the town that we used to live in, yes. in France, yeah, Metz. Yeah, Mir Mirabelles Metz, were France. very popular in Metz. Well, I guess they're, are they popular in all of Alsace, Lorraine region? I, or is I it guess a... it's in that region, I'm not sure. Mm. All right, so this one is full of seeds and nuts, which from your comments from that previous video, and I did a poll on Instagram and asked you what your favorite breads were, and by far everyone, almost everyone said that their favorite breads in Germany include seeds and nuts in the dough. Mm -hmm. So I've been asking for that in the bakery because we hadn't really had much of that. Yeah, very good. It's just so hearty. Mm -hmm. It's flavorful, yeah. Mm, yeah, very full of flavor. And even the kids, they have been very excited with the bread. They've mm -hmm. always, they thought all the bread was tasty. And like, mm -hmm. usually if you get like wheat bread in America, you know, kids are like, I don't want to eat wheat bread. It's so dark and, and it's like- It's gross. It's, you know, it, it, it's just too, you know, too tough and all that. Yeah. Um, but here they are very happy with the bread. They like, they yeah. like all the ones we bring back. Our kids wait for us to bring home the bed, bread from the bakery. Yeah, they put butter and jam on it and they have it for breakfast and lunch. And we've, we eat a lot of bread now. <laughs> so we go to the bakery pretty much every other day, sometimes in consecutive days if we've eaten all of it. We've made it our mission to try new breads every time we go, new rolls especially. The rolls are really good, which you guys told us in my poll that the, the rolls are very, very good and we should definitely try them, so we did. And I'm still trying to figure out the difference between a Brötchen and a Semmel. Because like, I, I look up in my translate and it translates Brötchen as a bun and and semel as a roll um but i see them semel is written a lot more around here i haven't seen brutchen so much so mm -hmm. i don't know if it's regional or if there's actually a difference between the two but um i'm sure you guys can uh educate us and let us know okay next we have these cheese and bacon rolls and they've got cheese and then bacon on the inside yeah Bacon I mean, makes everything better, right? Who doesn't like that? <laughs> so yeah, we like these. You could really eat these as a sandwich to yeah. me. Although I'm not gonna eat a whole one by myself. Are you no, gonna just, cut it up? Yeah, I'll just try some pieces of it. You yeah, don't really need um, butter so much with these because they're really good. That's true. Yep. Mm. Bacon everything is good. Mm -hmm. Now it's a white bread, so it's not as hearty and healthy and nutritious as this bread is. I mean, this one's practically a meal in a bread. <laughs> you could see how people in the old days when they couldn't preserve food, except with salt or um, canning, and didn't have fresh vegetables and, and fruits in this, you know, in the winter time, you could see how they would survive on bread. Yeah. And one thing in Germany, beer is known as liquid bread. Yeah, s several of you in the comments have talked about liquid bread, so yeah, that's cool. And it definitely is. There's been several beers I've drunk, half the bottle, and I'm like, like I feel so full. Not uh -huh. not bloated, bad full, like, like I feel like I ate a meal. Yeah. So, this is very good. Um, I would say a sandwich in a bread. Sehr gut. Lecker. What's next? Okay, so this is a bread that Kevin got. Mm, yeah. Um, what last week was the first time we tried it. It's actually called a Norvedger. A Norvedger, like Norwegian or something, I guess. Hmm. Um, and it is like got crusted things on top. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Maybe it's cheese. I don't I know. I think it's cheese, but I'm not quite sure. So you guys let us know. There's lots of seeds and yummy stuff inside. We love this one. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, the first time we got it, yeah, we fell in love, didn't we? And then then Gabriel's like, I gave this is bread's awesome, and I gave it to Gabriel. It's like, Dad, I don't know what you're so crazy about. Yeah. I mean, he liked it fine, but he wasn't like, this was awesome. Yeah, the kids don't always share our same love. But, you know, kids don't have the same taste buds. Right. Oh no, I'm giving you only the crusted top. Oh You're, yeah. You got the lucky part. Yeah, I got the crust, nicey crusted top. Piece. Yeah. Very good. You let me have a bite? Mm-hmm. It's okay, I got more for later. Mmm. Yeah, that's very good. It's a white flower, it looks like. Not a dark one. It Sorry. still has all the seeds and stuff inside. Yeah. Has lots of seeds. It's very good. That different bakeries call their breads different names, 
So you may like one particular bread at one bakery and they do it slightly different in another. So many people said, well, I can't really pick a favorite bread. You kind of pick a favorite bread at a certain bakery, but it may <laughs> not. So I thought that was really interesting. Yeah. So we haven't focused so much on names of breads. We just go into the bakery and go, mm, we haven't tried that one. We haven't tried that <laughs> one. But at the Kreidel Bakery, I think we've pretty much tried all of them now. All of them, because I couldn't find any new ones this morning. We hadn't tried. What well, seems like uh, the the Mischbrot and the Weltmeisterbrot seems mm. to be pretty common everywhere. Oh, and the ones made with sourdough, and I forget mm. the name of them in German. The sourdough loaves are very good, and of course, very healthy and good for you because the proteins and the wheat and the gluten are broken down more, and they're healthier for you to eat, better for digestion. Yeah, so this is one of our favorites. This one I haven't gotten before. No. Looks kind of like a pretzel bread, but with sesame, sesame. seeds. Mm. It almost looks like a pastry in a way. I know, I just thought it was so pretty. Right. And we haven't tried it yet, so let's see. I can't even have half of this. No. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it does. it's almost like puff oh, pastry inside. It does look like a puff pastry. But I don't, I think it's savory and not sweet. Let's try it. I still haven't finished mm. my other roll. <laughs> I want to fit. Ooh. Mmm. Crusty part. Yeah, it is more like a puff pastry, but in a bread. Mm. So I have a little story to tell you to illustrate how important German bread culture is here, or how much their daily lives at least used to revolve around bread, and I don't know how much it does anymore. So let us know in the comments below, does your life revolve around bread? Are you a German who loves your bread? Or is it kind of a thing in the past or let us know. So anyway, one of the first two days that Ella had started kindergarten, she's our four year old. I was in class with her and the teachers kept saying, Brotzeit, Brotzeit. And you know, have you had your Brotzeit asking the different kids and stuff. And um, I was like, bread time? You know, I thought they were gonna bring out like a huge, you know, loaf of bread and start cutting it and giving it to everyone. Because <laughs> uh, Brotzeit means bread time. Brot is bread and Zeit is time. And then I finally understood, oh, they're saying snack time. So snack time in Germany is called bread time, which I just thought was really cute. And it shows how much they ate bread for snacks. Right. In the United States, we often have our big um, hot meal of the day at supper time, at dinner time. In the evening. Yeah, in the evening. At least it, this used to be the case in Germany. Let us know in the comments below if it's different now. We've been told that some do this and some don't, but you have your big meal at lunchtime now, uh, or used to, and then you have Abendbrot, Abendbrot in the, in the evening, which is evening bread, and you would have it with salami and pickles and cheese and things. That's what we saw in um, Deanna and Phil's video, which I'll give a shout out to them. You, I'll leave a link to their video below, but it's eating like a German grandma for a day. <laughs> and Phil says that he grew up going to his grandma's house having Abendbrot for dinner. <laughs> so I don't know, you know, do you guys still do that now? Or is that sort of an old fashioned thing? Either way, it's nice to know the history because it explains, like it helps you understand how popular the bread is here. Yeah. So I haven't tried this one yet. Oh, wow. It's like a croissant. Yeah, kind of a little thicker mm -hmm. and heavier, but it's very similar. Very interesting. Mm -hmm. And one thing I want to mention is we got in the comments there when we said that, you know, Americans don't, Americans think of France and Italy as having great bread. Many people said, yeah, but they've got white bread. It's not <laughs> full of nutrition. It's not full of, you know, seeds and nuts. And I was like, that's a very good point because Germany is known for the rise and the pumpernickels and the spelts and the, the hearty, hearty yeah. wheats. They're also, according to what I've learned, even healthier for you than the white wheat. And, but also it's because in the colder climates, those are the wheats that grow best. Mm. And in the Southern warmer climates, you can grow the white wheat. <laughs> so that's good to know how that ended up. It's the same in the US. The white breads are more popular in the South and the darker breads are more popular in the north. Did you know yeah, that? Yeah, I suppose that's true. You know, New York, New York is sort of known for rye and pumpernickel and stuff. Yeah. That's true. And in the south, we're known for the biscuits, mm -hmm. which are white. Yeah. Re uh, white wheat. And, um, yeah, I can see that. So yeah, it kind of depends on which part of the country you grew up in. So. so there's some really great facts that I think are good to know about German bread that I got from a CNN article on German bread. And you can find these facts all over the internet about Germany. Germans have more bakeries and eat more varieties of food than most other countries in the world, though France has nearly the same amount of bakeries as Germany. 
According to the German Bread Institute, there are more than 3,200 types of bread in Germany. German bread culture was officially added by UNESCO to its intangible cultural heritage list in 2015. The main driver for the bounty of bread, farmers, merchants, and dukes alike needed something nourishing against the often cold and rainy days. So Germans to this day tend to eat sourdough made with rye, spelt, and wheat flours and packed with grains and seeds. Wir haben Käse Speckbrot gekauft und ich mag es, weil es hat Käse und Speck und die schmecken zusammen, schmecken gut. Hm. Ja, das ist gut. Mhm. Lecker. Mhm. I have achieved the piece of Somebody's going to get their fingers cut off if you're not more careful. <laughs> Okay. You want to do the ending? Sure. Okay. <laughs> All right. Thanks for spending some time with us with our bread. It was very delicious. Uh, part of our everyday life now that we're here in Germany. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, I hope you hope you enjoyed this and uh, let us know uh, what your favorite breads are and if you have any suggestions for us to try, maybe we can go and ask our baker and see if they've got any. Yeah, thanks for watching guys. If you haven't already subscribed, we'd love to have you as part of our community and you can you know give us a like if you like this video. We hope to see you soon. All right guys. Cheers. Cheers. Ciao.